welcome to another unboxing. It's going to be a real unboxing this time, which is exciting. Um, it's been a hot second since there's been one because everything is seasonal, so you do get them so infrequently, which makes me sad because I enjoy this. Um, so today I've got the, I've been very excited about this box. Um, couldn't wait for it to get here. Um, it is the Starling box. Starling. Um, and it is also seasonal. So this is the spring box for 2019. Um, when I ordered it, it was like the fifth of the next month. You'll get the current box shipped to you. So um, that's why it's spring, even though soon it's going to be getting closer to the um, summer box. So, yeah. So... This is last, and first things first, noticing just about the outside of the box. Um, haven't opened it or anything, all still taped. I did take off the postage thingy on here. Um, it was, however, just like a piece of paper taped onto this, so I kind of enjoy that with this box already. Um, I think it's a little bit less of like a conglomeration corporate thingy, like FabFitFun is, um, you know, clearly they're out to, to make money. That's what all these things are for. Um, so I do enjoy that. Um, it seems like it's kind of just for starting up, which is another reason I wanted to make this video, um, just to kind of highlight a box that maybe people haven't heard about before. Um, I am not really sure what's all in this box. So we're going to find out together if this is worth it or not. Um, and I will put like the link to their website in the description. Um, so you can go check it out for yourself. Um, price is comparable to like a FabFitFun seasonal box. Uh, you can clearly tell like dimensions of this box much smaller than the FabFitFun box. However, like it is pretty jam-packed in there, I think. Um, and I think with those other seasonal boxes, cause box as well, it's a lot of just filler paper, um, and they don't need a box that big. So I think there's still going to be enough in here for it to be worthwhile. Um, I also really like the design of this box. I like the colors. It's not super bold and in your face and like smacking you around. Um, it's like... I don't know if it's hard to tell in the video. I don't think so. I think if you stare at it, you can see it. Uh, these are like a paper chain of people, like around a globe. Um, red heart. Um, so Starling Box I picked because they actually do a lot with um, giving all of their proceeds or profits um, to charities that help with people who have been um, victims of human trafficking. Or, um, you know, like, that's just where all of their money goes to. They also, I believe, deal exclusively with companies that employ people who have been um, taken out of human trafficking situations. So I think that is great. I think that it is really nice to have one box that kind of that targets a very specific cause and, and is supporting it so well. Um, like, cause box is fun, but you kind of like, most of their causes are just giving money to to companies that employ a lot of women, which don't get me wrong, I love that, but it's supposed to be for good causes and it's a little harder to know what your money is all going for. It is all good stuff, but um, I feel like this one's just a little bit more tailored. So I enjoy that. Um, I wish I had more information for you, but I didn't do my homework before I started the video so I'm sure you could find out a heck of a lot more on their website um, but I'm getting down to cutting open the box because that's the fun part and we want to get to it um, I don't want a video that's going to be like an hour long and boring so I'm very good at making long boring videos um, sorry pardon All right. I also enjoy on this box around the the edges here. These are all just things that say 
Happy mail, get ready to be amazed. Life is beautiful, good times. Hello, how are you? They're just like little blue stamp decals on, on the edges. I like that. Um, there's nothing on the bottom, it's just plain white because they're not being outrageous. Like there's enough design on here to be like, yeah, you're a company and not overwhelming, which I enjoy. I've made fun of some of the other boxes when you open it and there's like a zillion colors inside. This is just a legitimate box. Um, not that the others aren't boxes. I mean, whatever. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. Oh my God. This looks like an old, old, uh, like recipe book. <sighs> oh my gosh. So this was in the box and it says, um, spread love starling and the colors on here they're very like muted pale very cute um but when you open it up like the quality of the paper the big the big type in here um the pictures and stuff like it looks it looks like it's straight up from like the 70s this is supposed to be for like a pretty cheese board, how to make pretty cheese board, but it, it looks like it's from a really old cookbook. Um, I'm betting there's something cheese board-ish in this box. Um, so I don't want to like ruin everything by, by looking through this. So we're going to put this off to the side for a second um, and start pulling out some of the beautiful things in here. Um, and then we can kind of look in here for more information maybe. Seems like the right thing to do. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm reading. <laughs> um, I always feel like that's super boring when someone reads on a video. So I apologize in advance, um, for that. But like I said, I didn't do my due diligence and read more into this before I opened the box. So my bad. Um, they have in there this pamphlet, um, for Zoe Children's Homes. And it is for, uh, it says fighting for those who cannot fight for themselves. Go Zoe.org. Uh, Zoe media may show orphaned or at risk children, but never trafficked children. Um, okay. Zoe international is a Christian organi organization. That's not a big deal for me. Just, so we're aware I'm not getting on like a religious high horse. I just think that human trafficking is a really good charity to give to. Um, that rescues and cares for orphans in danger and children who have been sold or are at risk of being sold into human trafficking worldwide. Um, quote underneath this evil prevails when good men do nothing. Uh, child slavery, a worldwide crisis. Definition, the United States government considers trafficking in persons to include all of the criminal conduct involved in holding someone in compelled service. It is a crime involving the exploitation of someone for the purposes of compelled labor or a commercial sex act through the use of force, fraud, or coercion. Um... According to the U.S. Department of State, there are an estimated 20.9 million victims of human trafficking. Um, according to the International Labor Organization, it is estimated that 5.5 million of those victims are children. Uh, then it goes into ways that um, children are being trafficked, prevention, um, Global awareness, Zoe's goal is the suppression and abolishment of human trafficking through counter-trafficking training. Um, our Protect Yourself and Protect Others campaigns empower communities, parents, children, churches, and refugees in impoverished and vulnerable areas. Um, they advocate in policy and legal reform. Um, I just had a really horrible thought. Again, because I haven't done my research and I 
wish I had before I started making a video. Now I suddenly am a little concerned, like, what if this Zoe whatever turns out to not be as, as good as I want it to be. But I am going to have to believe in the goodness of people and assume that this is a really good um, foundation and that it's not taking people's money and not actually helping people because that what kind of horrible humans would do that when you're dealing with in particular children who are in those situations so um it does include like a little envelope um to make like an additional donation to them uh in there so there is that um hopefully that's kind of the most um reading we're gonna have to do um because again i think it's very worthwhile but not necessarily the most fun to have to listen to you want to see the cool stuff that's in the box you don't want me to read to you um so first things i'm pulling out of the box are scrunchies and i have honestly been thinking about buying some scrunchies um but i've held off because I also can't justify it. So it's such a throwback to when I was a kid and like for a very very long time I would see these in like our hair buckets or whatever that had all of our like clips and, and scrunchies in them and be like how ridiculous and I hate it. Um, who would ever wear these? They're so dumb but um they're back now. They're a thing now. So, oh, pardon for a second while I really messily, shittily, really, um, put my hair up in a, in the scrunchie. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. It, it holds hair. Who would have thought? Um, <laughs> definitely does the job. Um, I am not someone who rocks a high pony, but I'm trying to get it up to the higher part so you can see the scrunchie as it holds hair um <laughs> good luck for me all right you know what we can make this even better if i double scrunchie it you should for sure be able to see them up there Oh, I look like one of the trolls. Rock on. Doing it. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should probably check that pamphlet and see if there's more information about these scrunchies. I'm sorry again that I am just like flipping through shit. Scrunchies! Okay, this is their little blurb on scrunchies on this page. Uh, cute and fun with various patterns and styles, scrunchies are a go-to hair accessory that never seems to fail. They failed for a very long time. They are just now coming back. So that's a little bit of a lie. Um, and this set from Sewing New Futures, handmade from vintage style fabrics, is perfect for pulling up your hair quickly without sacrificing style. I mean, I feel pretty stylish right now. So that that's pretty accurate. Um, Sewing New Futures is a nonprofit based in India employing women and girls who have survived or are at risk for trafficking. Uh, Sewing New Futures works with the Purna community near New Delhi, where many are of low caste and cannot enter traditional employment. As a result, girls are married off as soon as they hit puberty, and many are forced to prostitute, to prostitute themselves after marriage just to support their families. In addition to rescuing these young women, SNF, they abbreviate, um, works personally with, with each to provide medical care, education, social services, and vocational training to help them express their creativity and talent 
not just in sewing, but also in managerial training, dancing, or teacher certification, depending on what each woman wants to pursue. Um, I, guys, I know I was making fun of the scrunchies a little bit because they're, I mean, whatever, they're scrunchies. But I like them a lot now. Like, I don't know. That's so cool. I like it. I like that. I don't know. It's just a scrunchie. Like, how how dumb are these little doohickeys, but that they are legitimately going towards helping people. Um, feels pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Gonna rock the scrunchies then, I guess, man. You know? Sorry, I wasn't expecting to read this much during this video, so I'm glad I have a beverage. Okay, next thing. Okay. This is, I believe, I, I don't see a cheese board. There might be more in here, but I don't want to start digging through because it's more fun for me to kind of show you as I discover myself what's in the box. Um, so this is the like cheese knife um, that usually goes with a cheese board. Don't see the board, but it might be underneath some stuff in here. Um, so it's by Badala. Don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure it'll tell me in that book. About us. We employ artisans around the world so they can rise above poverty. We sell the products they make to end poverty and end human trafficking. Made with love in Kenya. So, okay. Rock on. I don't, here's the thing. I don't know that I'm ever going to use this. Um, I would love to be somebody who needs to make a cheese board, a fancy cheese board for a party. Um, I don't think I ever will be. So this is one of those things that I'm like, okay, cool. But I don't know what I'm ever going to do with this. Um, but regardless, let's look in the book and see what it has to say about this, um, Badala company. going to that cheese board deal. Um, who doesn't love a good cheese board? This Kisu knife from Badala International is an elegant com compliment to your board. Okay, there won't be a board. Got it. Um, and we love how versatile the simple yet sophisticated style is. Use it to slice silky mozzarella, spread creamy brie on a crispy cracker, or break off a piece of sharp cheddar. The possibilities are endless. Okay, pause. Pause, as I like to say. Um, do you guys have to do that regularly in your day-to-day -day lives? I don't find myself putting brie on a crispy cracker or having to add... What else was in here? Slice through milky mozzarella. I'm super American and I buy shredded mozzarella. Like, I don't have the real deal that I need to cut through with a cheese knife. So, it's almost, it feels a little sillier that it's a cheese knife with no board. But, again, that's just because I, someone who doesn't use it, like, if I was someone who did this on a regular basis, I would, I'm sure, love it. It is, I will say this, it is a nice quality knife. Like, it is solid wood. It is very smooth. Um, the handle is painted. Um, it's not like a ceramic at all in case you thought maybe it was because it kind of looks like it, but it's all, um, it's all wood. So, um, it looks cute. I like it. Um, I'm sorry. I got distracted. Let me read some more. Um, this knife was made in Nairobi, Kenya by women employed by Badala Inter International. Uh, Badala employs women and domestic sex trafficking survivors all across Africa using a model of giving opportunities, not handouts. 
This allows these women to live with dignity and hope so they no longer have to prostitute themselves just to care for their children. This beautiful knife was hand-carved and hand-painted by women in Badala's Nairobi office and is made from locally sourced olive wood. So, cool. You know, I have seen, um, I'm, uh, spoiler alert, also going to be getting um, Globe In, which is a monthly box, so there will be more of these deals. But Globe In has a lot of stuff with olive wood um, that you can just buy, whatever. But they're just, I... Like, they don't specifically target these sorts of um, employees and that sort of thing with that. Um, they are usually, like, smaller local craftsmen, I think, in those boxes who supply the products for those boxes. Um, they do have a lot of olive wood things, like bowls, cheese boards, serving dishes in general, and they are pretty expensive. So I will go ahead and say that, um, that I would probably put the value of that olive wood cheese knife at, at pretty decently if you're looking for, a, like, what your value would be in this box. So there is that. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I can't get my life together. Next item is soap. <laughs> um... Yeah, I haven't tried to read that yet myself. So, uh, lavender handmade soap from Sparrow House Botanicals. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have directions on it in case you don't know how to use soap. Let me tell you. Um, directions for use. Lather with warm water and apply to skin for cleansing and moisturizing. Keep away from your eye area. This is made from a goat milk soap, lavender buds, and lavender oil. I can't smell anything <sighs> through the plastic. <laughs> so I guess I have to open this bad boy all the way up. I don't want to open it all the way up, though. Here's the thing. Mother's Day is tomorrow, and I've gotten her gift, but I also like the idea of being able to give other things as well. I don't think she really likes bar soap, though, so I think I'm probably okay if I wanted to open this. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm trying to find a good access point in the plastic. That's lavender for sure. Mm -hmm. Soapy. Like. This is going to sound weird. But like you can tell this is a handmade soap by the texture. If you buy a lot of um, bar soaps at the store. Like, um, they're just like hard and they don't hard and smooth and that's like the only texture to it this is still firm but I think it's a little softer than those soaps and there's like a smoothness on here like I can tell I'm getting like soap residue on my hand when I do that which is more than I think um you'll get out of that other soap so I actually think this is gonna be really good especially if you use it like in a bubble bath yeah I like that I like that soap that's good 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 stuff um, I already have other bars of soap in my uh, bathroom but I apparently am gonna have to use this one now because I think this one's better than the others and I truth truthfully don't use those I generally go for liquid soap because of course I do um, so I think I'm just going to have to replace the ones that I do have with this because that one's better by far than what I've got currently. Um, so tell me all about this Sparrow Company. Okay. 
This creamy and gentle soap from Sparrow House Botanicals is not only beautiful, but the lavender fragrance also means that you can carry the smell of spring with you all day. Oh, they tied it into the season. Um, made from organic, ethically sourced materials, this soap was designed to soften your skin while also exfoliating with lavender and other natural plant materials. Uh, Sparrow House Botanicals empower, empowers survivors. I'm sorry if my reading is atrocious. Um, empower survivors of human trafficking by giving them fair pay and an opportunity to make products that they can be proud of. Although getting jobs can be quite difficult for survivors due to stigma, trauma, or a criminal record, as they are sometimes mistakenly arrested as prostitutes, Sparrow House prepares these women for a future in freedom by helping them build up a job history, a resume, and vocational skills that they can use to gain even more employment later in life. Uh, we love that their mission is not just about healing from their past, but also preparing for the future. Me too. Good job. I like it. Woo! <laughs> Disaster. I apparently should just not do this shit, man. Um. <laughs> better. Maybe. Get her angle back. <laughs> Sorry for that little fun trip. Moving on to the next thing. There is an item in here that I'm avoiding because I'm going to have to open this. And I feel like I'm going to either really love or really hate what's inside. So I'm just trying to do all of the free floaty things um, that are in this little section first. Oh, okay. All right. Back on. This is... Um, Direct Fair Trade Mango. Um, level Ground Trading. Oh, Sweet Smooth Plush. And I think it's just dried mango. We shake the hands that farm the land. And then there's a dude eating the mango on the back. So, okay, I mean, tell me about it, book. Okay. So, <laughs> it starts out. Ever wondered what sunshine tastes like? We think it would taste just like this dried mango <laughs> from Level Ground Trading. Pause. Pause. We're going to find out. Really had no intention of um, eating anything this late. But, uh, you know, when you tell me that something is going to taste like sunshine, got to try it out. Okay. What I will say, uh, I have had dried, dried mango before. This is very thin. By comparison um, and the texture is really like leathery kind of um, color me skeptical mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sweet and chewy chewy's right This makes the perfect healthy treat when you're on the go or just feel like snacking. Plus, it's certified organic and free from sulfates and preservatives. I'm pretty sure the other dried mango I've had has had preservatives in it, which is probably why this one seems tough and leathery to me. Mmm. We think Ground Level, their company, their motto, we shake the hands that farm the land, perfectly sums up their work. Um, they put a strong focus on the farmers themselves, working equitably and fairly with the farmers directly. The mango in your box is supplied to ground level by a Colombian organization called... I'm sorry. I'm super white, so I'm pretty sure this is not how you say this. <laughs> Apologies in advance. Um, Cruandas? Mm. 
gets work. However, 91.3% of employees say that their work conditions Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped ahead. I just skipped to the next spot. The name of that company showed up. Um, many small scale farmers are cheated by companies that buy from them and are denied fair wages. Um, this company, because I don't want to say it again, however, um, has the 91.3% of employees say their work conditions have improved from what they were before doesn't say that, but I'm helping. Um, moreover, there is a strong focus on employing women who are often marginalized in industry and have more trouble gaining fair work. 70% female employees, that's the kind of empowerment we like to see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this is so, it's so tough and chewy. I don't know why I threw it all in my mouth. I felt like it was going to make it easier than ripping off a piece. I think I lied. This might now last for the rest of the video like a piece of bad gum. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes good. It tastes like regular mango. If you don't like mango, you won't like this. Just so you know. If you've never had mango, you're missing out. Um, but I do know you either love mango or you hate it. There's very few people who are in the middle. Um, I love it. So, it's a pro that it's in this box for me. Again, I'm not a huge fan of how chewy this is. Maybe it was just the one piece I had. Um, These all look equally leathery. It looks like a mango jerky. I got through it though. Hey, look at that. That was pretty good. Again, a little tougher than I'd like, but um, I mean, it, <laughs> I feel like it's coming from far away. It's organic. It's all sorts, it's all the things, all the buzzwords. So, all right, it's fine. Um, fresh mangoes, much off better, juicy and delicious. Mm. Now I want some of that. Next thing is real cute. Um, in case you didn't know, love me some tea. I think a lot of people know that I love me some tea. Um, I go through weird phases with it where either I have a lot of tea or I don't have it at all for a long time. Currently haven't had any for a long time until today uh, when I decided I would have some chai tea for this, actually. Um, from David's Tea. And did you know you can brew tea in a Keurig? You sure can. Uh, it saved me a hell of a lot of time. So, um, one sec. I don't have one here with me because I usually use the loose tea and very rarely a tea bag. But that is what this little dude is for. He is a little snail. And he hangs on your cup. Um, for example, hopefully this doesn't end up horrible. Um, so my teacup and your little snail hangs out on the edge, just chilling like a villain. And if the tag that was on it, which says uh, War Chest Boutique, um, shop with a purpose. Made by and in support of rescued and at-risk women. Silicone, reusable, hand wash and warm water. Well, let's pretend this is our tea bag. Um, we'll be in here and then you can wrap 
the string around the little snail dude. Um, and it holds it in there so it's not falling in and you have to fish it out with a spoon or whatever. Um, he's pretty cute. From back there, from back here I should say, he probably doesn't look like a snail hanging off my cup. He might look like something else. So I'm going to take him off. Um, <laughs> I think he's real cute, but um, maybe not for the video. <laughs> Put him back in his little plastic bag so he doesn't get gross before I need to use him. Okay, let's find out. Uh, this adorable snail tea bag holder is a perfect reminder of the new life that spring brings. It's such a handy tool to hold your tea bag in place and distinguish your cup from a friend or family member's. It was made by War Chest Boutique, uh, a project of women at risk, which is what War Chest means. W-A-R, women at risk. <laughs> learning so much. I don't know about you, but I do actually feel like I'm learning an awful lot. Um, War International is dedicated to rescuing and restoring survivors of trafficking, as well as supporting at-risk individuals around the world. Um, they recently launched their U.S. Training Center for At-Risk Women in the U.S., which is where this tea holder was made. Uh, the women in their care receive child care, medical care, and vocational training to help them get back on their feet and support themselves in dignity. Rock on, little snail. Rock on. Okay, gonna do it. I'm also, I've got a real balancing act going on over here. Um, trying to not knock all of my shit over. Gonna open the box. Anticipation, man. Got a little poppy on it. Mm. Cute. Oh, hey, what's up? Made for more. Survivor made jewelry. Sorry, my cat is over there trying to, to upset the whole shit. Okay. It's jewelry. And it, I believe, is a necklace. And it says, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it says stay gold on it. And it's kind of like a like a rose gold. This is definite. Okay, here's another weird little. You can definitely tell all of this was done by a very small company or by hand. Um, the stamp on the box. It's literally a stamp. It's not a preprinted box. And sorry, she's getting all up in my business. Um, this little piece of cardboard. This gold in the background is someone took a paintbrush and made like a little X on there. Um, and it's literally just like a regular piece of tape. It's even got the little marks on it where it got ripped off the scotch tape dispenser. So, Pia, <laughs> sorry, cat. Um, can you go away for just a little bit? A little bit longer. We're so close to done. You just gotta chill out for a little while, okay? She's not pleased. Okay. So I really like necklaces. However, I got a big old neck. It's like, this should be plenty of chain, but I feel like it's going to be short on me and I'm not going to appreciate it, but I'm going to give it a shot and we're going to find out. Mm 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would like it a little longer, but you know it's not bad. Yeah, that's all right. We can go with it. Let's read more about it. Okay. Stay gold. A timeless style with timeless with a timeless message. This rose gold bar necklace from Made for More NV is a perfect daily reminder to be your best self with a simple inscription that nobody ever loses their value. You'll want to wear this cute hand-stamped piece everywhere. Made for More NV is an Etsy shop founded and run by an amazingly brave and creative woman who escaped from her trafficker and taught herself to make beautiful jewelry. She uses her business as a way to employ herself while undergoing therapy and as a tool of empowerment. She is learning a new life through entrepreneurship and creativity, and she hopes that she will one day be able to empower other survivors by offering classes and employment. We're only proud to be able to support such an amazing goal. Make sure to check out her Etsy shop at Made for More NV um, to see some of her other beautiful products. Cool. Very cool that this is from an, I like that they went to an Etsy shop. Like, I don't know. They found someone who survived this and is just trying to live her life and earn her, her way through it. And they are using her product. Super cool. I like it a lot. I like the whole way this company works a lot like a lot I'm also really nervous guys I want everybody to go get this box actually because I'm very nervous they're not gonna be around they might be I'm hoping they're just really getting started and that th hi this is the sass hi um that yeah hi Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't understand. Um, anyways, so I originally found this box on Crate Joy. Um, and if you've never really looked around on Crate Joy, it's kind of fun. And they have all of these really small boxes that I don't think have really even gotten off the ground. Um, they also have the big ones like Dead Fit Fun and everything. You can find them on there usually. But they link you up to the actual website for those companies. When I signed up for Starling Box, they um, their website was down, actually. They only had the Crate Joy Box um, website. So I have ordered from Crate Joy before. Um, for my goddaughter, I was getting her like a monthly, maybe seasonal, um, like a craft box. And it stopped coming all of a sudden. And I didn't know because I didn't check my email whatever um but they I think went out of business because they didn't have enough people who were buying the boxes or like the people just didn't want to do it anymore whatever it was so I worry about that with this box because so far everything is great um now I did know this next item was in this box um I'm really surprised about the color but I'm really excited about the product. Um, I love bags super much. And I'm a little sad that this isn't in yellow, truthfully. Um, because I saw it on the website in yellow and I just got really excited. Um, so navy blue it wasn't super my jam. Yellow is. Um, I feel like that's the opposite of what it is for most people. You know, I like to do things weird. So it is this really cool bag. Um, oh my gosh, the inside looks so cool. So this is Paranda. And it's got more information about the company in here. Um, I'm also going to read it in the book thing because seems to be the best spot for information. Um, so it's got a long 
adjustable strap. So it can be like a crossbody, um, which is better than what I thought this was. When I saw it on their site, I thought it was actually just a backpack um, because it's, you know, drawstring and it was like closed like this. So I thought it was just a backpack, but that it's got the crossbody strap makes me really happy. Um, the inside is a different patterned fabric. Um, yeah, so it's real cool. I like this a lot. Um, I do. I'm going to extend the strap because I always do because that's just the world I need to live in with impossibly long straps. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have to wear all of the things in the video or it's just not worth it. Okay, cool. Love it. Love it, love it. Wish it was yellow. Um, there wasn't any customization option for the box. So I will say that right up front. Um, and I did leave a comment on a picture of this on their Facebook page um, of the yellow one where I wanted to know if it was available in other colors. I kind of assumed everyone was just going to get um, the yellow one because it was the one in the pictures. I'm really seeing my... Crunchies have fallen. Um, so yeah, uh, but they never actually responded to my message, so I will say that. Um, but I do also think that they're kind of in the process of building things up. You'd think that that would mean that they'd respond more to messages because they're trying to get people's interest, but you know what? It's okay. Um, this is kind of what it looked like. It's the yellow, and then, like, that's what the little strip was instead of the, like, blue and red that it is on here. Um, yeah, I really wish it was the yellow one. That would have been more my jam, but I do still really like the blue. Um, they had a teal one, too. I did see a picture of that. Um, so, you know, whatever. Can't pick and choose. Let's learn about it, folks. Um, spring is a time of new beginnings. Why not start with this gorgeous and vibrant purse from Paranda with detailed handmade jacker trim and sweet floral and a sweet floral lined inside. This bag is large enough to hold all your good, all your goodies and the perfect versatile piece for your spring adventures. Paranda works in Romania among the Roma women who are traditionally stigmatized and given little opportunity to support their families. Um, with so few options available to them, the Roma people are often forced into prostitution and begging to make a living, um, many even having to leave their children at government offices because they can no longer afford to provide for them. Paranda seeks to change this by working directly with marginalized women, empowering them and teaching them a trade and offering them dignity. And your bag has allowed Paranda to donate a book to a child in Romania to help them with their education. Yeah. Cool. That's all of our stuff. I feel like I've said cool several times. Proving that I am not. <laughs> um, I'm going to read the only thing left to read in this booklet. Which was their little intro deal. Just in case there's anything I've missed. Um about this company in general, but I think that they are doing really cool things. I like that they're getting all of this together. All of these individual companies are amazing as well. Um, and I would have never heard of if it hadn't been for this box. So I appreciate that as well. Um, so this was their intro note. Hey there, spring is a time of new beginnings. For centuries, spring has signified renewal as the frost melts away and the sun begins to appear again. But most of all, spring signifies new life. This spring, we're excited to bring you this box of artisan-made goodies. Each of these products has a story and a face behind them. Our partners employ survivors of human trafficking to provide not only momentary shelter, but also the lasting tools of education and a fair-paying job which empowers these employees to escape trafficking permanently and regain their independence. We love supporting these organizations because they believe 
that everyone deserves a life free from abuse and are working to restore lives hurt by trafficking. We also hope that this spring we can renew our commitment and take a stand against trafficking. Human trafficking is an issue that affects millions of people and deprives them of their dignity and freedom. This is unacceptable and we hope that you'll join us in the fight against trafficking. Thank you for supporting us and the amazing organizations we source our products from. 100% of the profit from your box is donated to organizations that fight trafficking. We hope that you enjoy your box and learning about the mission behind them. Love the Starling team. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like this was fun, but it's also ending on a super serious note. I feel like all of this was very heavy to deal with. Because we don't think about human trafficking that frequently um, in our day-to-day -day lives and everything. Um, so that there's all of these companies. And this isn't everybody that they work with. This is just what's the companies they've worked with for this box. Um, there's so many companies that are dedicated to empowering women and, and victims of human trafficking. Um... Yeah, I mean, you know, heavy stuff. It's intense. Um, I, honest to God, am right now considering just canceling my cause box subscription. It's got some cool stuff in it, but uh, this was way better for me, I think. Like, I feel much better about these products. I like these products. I think they were worth it. I feel like a lot of um, the other boxes, you get a lot of like weird skincare products. Don't get me wrong, skincare is fine, but it's hard for me to justify saying that every skincare product in one of those boxes is worth $50, you know? And I, 50 is maybe exorbitant, but I feel like that's what they're always saying is that you know, every product is worth so much money and, um, you know, it's hard for me to justify that. If you're going to tell me this bag is that this, the value of this bag is, I don't know, what would you even say? It's probably not real leather, truthfully, but, you know, um, it's done by hand. And, uh, yeah, I, like, the craftsmanship on it is, is very good. I'm looking at the, at the seams and everything, um, because I've gotten some things in other boxes that the quality is just kind of meh. So it was another one of those, like, oh, you're going to pretend this is worth so much money, but it's not, like, the quality doesn't hold up. Um, this is so useful for me. Um, I'm just trying to see the quality of this bag. And there's a strap on the inside with a clip. Do you know how often I lose my keys in my big ass purse? Because it is in one of the side pockets or it's all the way at the bottom. Like buried beneath all the other random crap in my bag. <laughs> this is such a small thing that is so, I don't know, it makes a big difference to me to have this in the bag. Um, it's not something I expected to be in here, and it kind of makes my day. Um, yeah, and then on the inside, let's just take the inside of the bag out. Uh, let's see, we've got pockets. Yep, got like one bigger pocket. This one's a little smaller, like you would put um, pens or, or lipsticks in. There's also on this other side a zippered pocket, which I always love. Um, if I ever want to put like my makeup in a purse, I like to keep it in that part so that it's not just floating around free in the bottom. Um, I also like to put any like feminine products in there just so I don't have a bunch of 
pads and tampons and miscellaneous hoo-ha, whatever shenanigans spilling out onto the floor at all times. So, um, anyways, back to what I was saying. The quality of this bag is good. And knowing that it was made by hand, um, and everything, I, I would probably say minimum $50 on this bag. Minimum. Which is, like, the cost of the box. So, this product alone makes it worth it to me. Um, again, like I said, the cheese knife, while not something that I personally am going to foresee using at any point in the near future, um, I know that Olive Wood, especially handcrafted, is going to be more expensive. People sell it for more. It's an artisan product worth more money. Um, the little snail dude, Probably not worth a ton, but I'm going to say probably minimum $5 on him, um, just because that feels like the right number to put on him. Um, soap, same thing. Um, maybe not like a ton of money for soap. Um, cause you can make a lot at a time. So I feel like they're usually a little lower on the cost. Um, but also, I don't know. I feel like the quality of this soap is, is better than a lot of handmade soaps I've seen. So I would probably say closer to 10, 10 to 12 maybe for the soap. Uh, if you were to buy it at a store and then you know like the scrunchies and the jewelry um this box is totally worth it uh totally and completely worth it um yeah i don't know what they said the estimated value um was or because, you know, they usually are like, oh, you get $200 worth of products for 50 or, or whatever. I don't remember what they said theirs was. Um, but all that I really, I don't care so much about that. I mostly want to make sure I at least make up the money that I spent on the box. Is how I generally see these things. Um, oh, and the mango. I forgot about just sitting on my side table here and I legitimately thought that I just had it there as a snack for a second. Forgot it was something that came in the box. <laughs> Oops. Um, anywho, it's totally worth it. I think you make up your money, um, plus some, and you're supporting really good causes. Um, I would really love all of you to support them. I obviously I'm not going to make you and maybe you didn't like certain parts about the what was in the box um I would love to hear your thoughts on it your feedback uh I'm very excited to find out what they do for the summer box um I don't know when that'll come but this was super neat and uh I don't think any of it is going to be something I give to my mom for Mother's Day because for a change, I, I want to keep everything in the box. That doesn't happen to me that often either where I like all of the things in the box enough to be like, nope, I want that for me. Um, there's usually a bunch of stuff where I'm like, mm, I'm not going to use it, whatever. Even that knife, I'm not going to use it, but I don't foresee me giving it to anybody and not because I can't think of someone who wants it because I just... No. I like the idea of owning a fancy wood cheese knife, even though I'm not going to use it. So that's just the kind of person I am, which is why these boxes happen, really. Because um, we're kind of all that person. Uh, yeah. So, this uh, was the Starling Box, spring 2019. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching.